हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज चक्षु पिपलानी सिस्को नेटसेक टेक्निकल मार्केटिंग इंजीनियर एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट वन ऑफ द न्यू फीचर्स और एनहेंसमेंट्स टू सिस्को सिक्योर फायर वॉल ऑन वर्जन सिक्स डॉट सेवन इन दिस वीडियो आई टॉक अबाउट डिवाइस मैनेजमेंट फीचर विच अलाउज नेटवर्क एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स टू यूज एनी डेटा इंटरफेस टू मैनेज द एफ टी डी डिवाइस थ्रू दैट इंटरफेस In branch offices where FMC is remote to the FTD, where FTD might be an edge device, the management interface needs to be routed through NAT, for which you need an additional edge device. Now the FTD can be deployed directly in the branch office instead of first registering it in the head office and then shipping it off to the branch office. Also, the management interface is not exposed to the internet. NAT statement is auto added for the data interface, which acts additionally as a management interface. This can be achieved by a CLI to onboard a new FTD via data interface. Changes from an existing management interface can be done to a data interface and vice versa. I'll be covering all the scenarios in this video, but first let's have a quick look at the topology. For demonstration purpose, in this topology both data and management interface are in the same subnet. First, I will use gig 0/0 to onboard a new device. to use data interface for fmc registration via cli then i will switch from data interface to management interface via fmc gui lastly for those users who are upgrading from an earlier release to 6.7 i will cover moving from management interface to data interface via gui let's begin by first logging into our ftd via console this device has basic configuration with an ip configured on the management interface but we are going to use Click zero slash zero for registering it with the FMC. I'll run the command show network to show what's already configured. Management interface IP is ten one ninety seven two forty three one thirty three. My management and my data interface are in the same subnet, and I'll be using ten one ninety seven two forty three one thirty four as an IP for the data interface with the name if as outside. To do that, I'll have to run a command configure network. Management data interface. A script runs in the back end, and we are asked to enter the following details: the data interface, which is gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero, I'll go with the default name as outside. Since we are using static IP, I'll choose manual. The IP address. Check mask. And the gateway. In this case. We'll be using the same DNS as it was configured for my management interface, so I'll just hit enter. Since we are not using Dyn DNS, I'll hit enter to choose it as none. The configuration is now complete. It will take its sweet time to enter the IPv4 routes and the NAT statements. Fast forwarding to the configuration, I now have my network settings changed. We'll verify the network settings by running the command show network. As shown, we have got a new section added: System Information Data Interfaces. The show IP shows us the interface that we configured. We've got a static route added as default gateway towards the outside interface. The same will be visible in the FMC GUI post registration. A bunch of NAT statements are added with a virtual interface and the outside interface for TCP port 8305 used by the SF tunnel for FMC registration. We will now go ahead and configure the manager for FMC registration. Configure manager add the IP address of the FMC and a key is used for the registration. We have successfully completed our CLI configuration from the console. Let's move to the FMC GUI for registration. 
I will fast forward the registration part. The device registration has successfully completed. Few things to notice over here. When I edit the device, it shows me that Gig00, which is the outside interface, has FMC access. It also auto fetches the IP address that we configured while doing the initial configuration. If I hit the device tab, I see that the management of the FMC access interface is a data interface. FMC access details has a configuration button. Once pressed, shows two columns, configuration on FMC and configuration on device. Since both the devices are in sync, we see same configuration on both left as well as on the right column. Let's go ahead and change the FMC access from data interface to management interface. We will also have to change the IP address from 134 to 133, which is our management interface's IP. The last thing to do is go to the interface tab and remove the FMC access from the outside interface. Save, go through the warning and save again. We'll go ahead and deploy the changes. We'll get another pop-up stating that this is the first deployment in which we are changing from the data interface to the management interface. Make sure that the connectivity is good from the FMC to the device management interface. I will fast forward the deployment. The deployment has completed successfully. As you can see, the last octet is changed to 133. I'll now go ahead and change from the management interface back to the data interface. This would be helpful in those scenarios where you have upgraded from an older release to 6.7 and would like to change the device to be managed from a data interface. The procedure is pretty similar. We first go ahead and change the IP address to the desired IP. And then we change the FMC access to a data interface. Once done, we go back into the interface tab and we edit the interface and change the FMC access to be enabled. In our scenario, static route is already added while demonstrating the first scenario via CLI. Make sure you have a route in place for FTD data to FMC management interface if you are upgrading from an older release and switching to data interface. For now, we save the changes and deploy. We will get a similar warning as we got earlier that this is the first deployment where we are changing from management interface to data interface. I'll again go ahead and fast forward the deployment. Few things to remember. This feature is only supported in standalone FTDs, HA and cluster are not supported. Minimum version for FMC and FTD is 6.7. This is only supported for FMC managed devices. FTD must be in routed mode and not in transparent mode. The rollback CLI is supposed to be used only for this feature in order to restore connectivity failures that is caused due to incorrect configuration deployment from the FMC. This concludes this session. I hope this has been informative and I would like to thank you for viewing it.